Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a throwback video. Now this video goes back to 2017 and SHOT Show. We were actually at SHOT Show at the range, the media day at the range, out in uh, the desert there in Vegas. Um, and this year, the big, the big talk, the big hullabaloo was all about the Hudson H9. So I thought, let's do this video, throw back a little bit to this Hudson H9. Um, you know, this had a very short time in the gun world, no longer, the company no longer exists, but it was a uh, very story time, I think, in the gun world. And I thought this would be a good reminder of what we were thinking four years ago back at SHOT Show 2017. Let's get into it right now. And at the end, I'm gonna come back and uh, maybe for a couple of minutes here, we'll get into some tidbits about the Hudson H9, uh, what's going on with it now. Let's do this. Show 2017 coverage with Hank and Lola Strange. Swing it over here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. We are at the 2017 SHOT Show, media day on the range. We're in the Hudson booth. If you want to know, this is what's hot for SHOT Show. The number one gun, the H9. This is what everyone wants to know about. That's what everyone's talking about as I bump into people here at the show. So we're going to talk to Cy Hudson and the guys who came up with this gun, and we're going to go through the whole thing. What's up, Cy? Hey, Hank. Pleasure to meet you, man. Great to meet you. I'm a big you fan know. of your channel. You awesome, yeah. A lot of your I, videos. He's telling me he's like a fan. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> you know. I'm Cy Hudson. I'm half of the Hudson owner. I'm the CEO. My wife, Lauren, and I have been working on our new flagship model, the Hudson H9, for about three and a half years. And I... If you want to look down at the table, this is where we started. This is what we lovingly refer to as the brick. The brick. So this is inception. This is this is where we started. Okay. And then our second gen prototype right here. This is what we call the boat anchor. I mean, you, you, you can see the DNA, but back then we had we didn't have quite our bore axis where we wanted. It. We had traditional 1911 style safeties. Okay. And then uh, right here, this is our proof of concept pistol that came and was finally into, uh, turned into the H9. Okay. So uh, it is really exciting for everybody who watches Hank Strange stuff, and I, it's a lot more viewers than he's jokingly referring to. I know we are excited to finally show what we've been working on for three and a half years. It's a double stack 15 plus one nine millimeter striker fired pistol with a steel construction, steel frame, with a 1911 style linear trigger pull. And what we mean by that, this is not a 1911, we are not saying that. What we were saying is that we have isolated the rotation into the sear instead of the rotation being up at the front of the trigger. Some people have thought that our integral trigger safety has rotation. What that is, is it's simply interacting with a small geometry on our chassis system. So it is a chassis style pistol, similar to SIG 320 and that, that line. And what, what that's going to allow us to do is to keep cost down as we move forward with R&D for other models. Okay, so there's a chassis inside, is that, is that the serialized? That is the serialized portion so of the firearm. Is it modular? We haven't used the word modular because most people are going to be like, oh, are you going for the modular handgun? system but right. we're not we're yeah. we are a true startup we don't have you know smith and wesson had to pa uh, partner with general dynamics to go after that bid right. okay. we do not have general dynamics backing as, okay. as we, but there's we possibilities don't. because you're using that platform there are and it, it allows us to grow and scale as we move forward with different models okay very cool now how did you wind up developing this i mean tell us about hudson one of the number one things when we were talking about this before shot show is like what is Hudson? Where did that come from? Uh, you know, so, so explain that to us. You know, how long have you been doing this, and and how did you come up with the idea to go in this direction? So. Uh, I was in the military, I was in the Army. Uh, I, when I deployed to Afghanistan, Lauren went, Lauren Hudson, That's this is Lauren. Hi. She went with Very me. Very beautiful wife, by the way. That's Thank you so much. And I married up, she's way smarter than I am, and that's... She's a smart guy, that's what, that's what we need to do. Th th thank every, you know, thank God she's the one that's the COO and running, running stuff. I know, that's what Lola does. <laughs> 
But we worked on this. I mean, her names are on the patent, too. We've been working on this for three and a half years. We decided during the deployment, Lauren deployed as a contractor. We were both in RC South and Kandahar. And we wanted, we came back from that deployment and realized I decided to get out of the military and we both wanted to do something where we could be together more. As, awesome. as goofy as that sounds, I know no, we're going to get me beautiful. That's, that's our goal, you know, that's why we're doing what we're doing. So, and it's we, a beautiful thing. We wanted to do that and we wanted something we could stay passionate about. We met through shooting, we bonded over that, and we started realizing our favorite gun, the 1911, was the one that we wanted to shoot and the one we had in our, in our uh, nightstands, mm -hmm. but we always carried our striker fired guns. Right. And so, and we were like, why is that? So we started an obsessive amount of research into uh, R&D guns, tearing them apart, going through patents. We just researched. So a bunch of nerdery, a bunch of... So you guys have never built guns before, before that? Just no. shot them. Oh, no? a lot of this early design was done in PowerPoint and paint and okay. <laughs> sitting there with an eraser going, I wonder if you moved that over here. Okay. So, so but we, we went out and once we had our design right and we felt like we had something decently viable we went and hired engineers we got we used our deployment money we used all the money we had saved and went and hired our first engineer and we used that to get to the brick and once we got to the brick we bought it forward and got investment uh, to go forward to our next to what we call the boat anchor now and then we got another round of investment to go into uh, the H9 and so it has been a, a long road we're really excited to finally get to show everybody it's so exciting to have people excited it yeah. matters to us it really really well, it does it seems like you really thought about what what gun guys you know you kind of mix everything that gun guys want right you know it's there's four guys shooters. that like it the 1911 shooters. angle Absolutely. all of that stuff so you guys really your your fans oh, oh we huge fans. oh we we're <laughs> we we love to shoot we yeah. love shooting and we we not only researched guns, we researched opinions. <laughs> opinion. Yeah. Oh my opinion goodness. after opinion. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, a lot everything of sleepless <laughs> nights. Oh yeah. Forums. <laughs> Lots of coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, the the one thing I didn't cover earlier, it is an ambidextrous slide release, reversible magazine release. Mm -hmm. But why it looks like what it looks like? We know people want to know what's happening under the dust mm -hmm. cover. Yeah, not what, a laser. Yeah, what's going on here? I was wondering myself. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a laser. Nope. Kind of light. We kept we kept the full full size slide. Yeah. So mm -hmm. top to bottom full size. Um, we slapped that right on top of the grip, and it's a grip, not a not a frame, mm -hmm. because you know the chassis system right on top of the trigger guard. So there's millimeters to go right here. And so that means we couldn't use a Browning linkless cam or a Browning link cam. We had to move our cams forward, which is resting on our locking lug right here, which is also the takedown. We're gonna do a quick rotation. Over here, it's recessed into the grip right now, but you just push, that comes out, you rotate down, and it disassembles. Awesome, can we do a takedown? I would prefer not to hang, okay. these are shotguns. guns, if I lose a spring, people are gonna pull that trigger tomorrow and say, yeah. oh, that's terrible, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll, yeah we lost a spring okay. on that one. Yeah, we'll come back at some point here and do it. It's I, a beautiful gun, it looks beautiful. Thank you, What sir. materials are you using here? We have forged steel, so uh, both the grip and the slide are forged. Stainless barrel, stainless slide, stainless chassis. So okay. we have uh, the H and M black nitride coating. So we're, we're now, when is this going to be available for everyone to buy? We are projected ship date of second quarter, and obviously anything. We're too small of a company to not be open. If there are any delays, we're going to let people know through social media. Okay. We're going to let them know why the delay, and we're going to, you know, approach that from an education yeah. standpoint. We are a true startup story, so getting all of our manufacturing and quality and all that, we have to in-house test. Right. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking forward to that. Yep. We are too. What's the price point going to be? Eleven forty-seven MSRP. And we'd like to point out to everybody, it is a full steel construction, mm -hmm. forgings and stainless. Uh, except, well, I'll point that out, not false advertising. That mm -hmm. grip is forged, but it is not stainless, but it is steel. Mm -hmm. Trigicon HD front sight, and I'll see if you can get you know, that really bright front sight down in there. Yeah. It's beautiful. Let, let me know how to, how to position that. But then VZ grips. VZ grips on the side and a Hogue lower, a lower back strap. So oh, G10, G10, G10 yeah. on VZ and Hogue. Yeah. So there's some there's some serious thought it looks like to me that's gone on gone into it. So obviously if you're the five hundred dollar gun guy, it may not be the thing. It it, it yeah. isn't, uh, and we we understand that, yeah. and uh, we are looking forward to to the five hundred dollar gun guys. We are giving a value at the feature set that we have in this yeah. pistol. We are a brand new company. 
We are looking forward to, you know, releasing economic models that people are at that price point. We, we're looking forward to that. We're getting through this first. We're launching our brand. We're here at Shout. We're really excited. But we're really looking forward to supporting those people and, and their shooting habit as well. Okay, cool. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to shooting it. So what comes with this in the box? Uh, we're going to be shipping with three mags. Mm -hmm. So, and we also promise that our mags will never retail for more than $35. Okay. Yep. I know. That's been some of the questions that we've been seeing people worried about online so it is a proven tube it is a proprietary tube but it's a proven tube we use the 5906 you know big 80s gun it's an old smith and wesson gun okay. so and what's the, the uh, ammo capacity 15 plus one nine millimeter okay 15 plus one mm -hmm. okay very good and uh, it's it's uh, what kind of uh, warranties are you guys get? Limited lifetime warranty, and what limited means is, if you somehow jam forty or you super load around and blow up your gun, that will not be covered in warranty. Right. That's, us <laughs> that's user really? error. <laughs> That's user error, but if, yeah. if there's a if there's a problem with this gun, we're gonna fix it. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. We'll make it Great. right. Yeah. You know what I think? I think for that per we were talking about the price point, and what I wanted to say is, you know, if you make that kind of investment in something, I don't think it's the biggest investment you can make in a gun. It's not a, it's not expensive when you really look at what you're talking about. But to have a gun that's not a safe queen is what I would be looking for. So something that's beautiful, but I can actually carry it, use it do whatever I want to do with it, get the value out of it, that's what counts. So if it comes in there, obviously I don't know that, you know, we're here at the show, we're in your booth, I'll shoot it and all that kind of stuff. We don't know that, that's a long term thing, but you know, that's what we would look forward to. Uh, we're looking forward to you shooting it oh, yes. and uh, figuring out whether or not you approve. I'd, lo I'd love to know if Hank Strange approves of our gun. It, it would mean awesome. something to me. I approve of you guys already. I like your story. Thank so, you. you know, I would encourage people to go out there and support what these guys are doing. You guys are actually living my dream. I would love to get to the point where I can uh, make guns and stuff like that, you know, oh. instead of talking about them and making videos. So, living the dream. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. So, let's go shoot shoot this thing. Yes. Awesome. How about that? <laughs> Alright, any instructions you want to give me, sir? Basically, mm -hmm. without the optional thumb safes, your only trigger, your only safety is the trigger safety. Okay. And the external one. Uh -huh. Aside from that, instead of trying to track the front sight like you would when you shoot with most pistols, mm -hmm. just kind of watch it. That's all you have to Just do. watch the front sight? That's all you got to do. Okay. Alright. Yep, very cool. I'm going to need more ammo. If you don't mind, yeah. Very cool. I like the reset. Alright, did you did you get every, everything you need in the shot? Do we need to do one more? Uh, one more. Just say yes. Please. See if you can shoot it shoot it fast. People like that. How many rounds is it? Uh it's like four. What do you want me to do? You want me to do it fast? Yeah, see if you can shoot it fast. Okay. Ready? The magazine is a proprietary magazine, so no other magazines are compatible with the Hudson H9. However, it is a proven magazine tube. We didn't redesign or re-engineer the magazine tube. Um, it's a proven tube with proprietary cuts, uh, and it's no other magazines are compatible with the H9. So they. So if someone wants to, you know, go out there and use some magazine that exists. It's not really going to work. Correct. Right. It is based on a, a proven platform. Correct. Yep. It's the the tube is from a, a Smith and Wesson 5906. Oh, okay. So the magazine tube is a proven tube, um, but it is cut to work with the H9. All right. So there you go. What do you guys think? I think that was cool. Um, I think that the Hudson H9. I have one here. There's not a lot of them out there nowadays. The company did wind up going out of business. It looks like they really overspent, but I think Cy and his wife, the family, and all the folks who were involved in this project at the time really put a lot of money, time, and energy into this gun. It wound up it wound up not working so well. I mean, one, this was kind of like sort of an expensive gun, I would say, uh, as most things go. 
I, I actually, right now, I will show you guys the box and we could talk about this a little bit. This is the box that the Hudson H9 came in. Very nice box um, for your 12, 1400 bucks. There's, there's a lot of different things going on. Um, I did buy this used here later. And let's pull, let's pull up this phone. There's two magazines that comes with it. There's instructions, all that kind of stuff. Really a lot of money put out for this. Um, all metal gun. I think they were promising, as you guys heard in that video, that they would do something a little bit more affordable. You know, perhaps they were hinting at something polymer. That wound up not happening. And um, the company went out of business. And there were even some people who, at the time that it went out of business, had sent their guns back in to be fixed. And they never got their guns back. I actually haven't even shot this since I got my hands on it. For videos and things like that that we did, I actually... Uh, borrowed a gun and did my videos with someone else's gun. So fast forward to now where they're out of business and uh, the gun is no longer out there. I believe you can get some parts from KE Arms, which was manufacturing, I think the frame and uh, slide and a couple of different things for them. Um, as you heard in the video there, this really works on a chassis system inside. Well, fast forward to now, I believe the rumors are that Daniel Defense has the right to the whole H Hudson H9 design, maybe as part of the um, liquidation of the company. And um, they may be redesigning it and putting this gun out probably in a polymer format. We'll see. There's been rumors for a while. I haven't actually seen anything yet. So that is all purely speculation. Um, to me, I like collecting guns like this that are one limited um and have a cool kind of history and story behind it and they're also a cool gun so um rumors as i said that you know daniel defense or some other company maybe will be coming out with uh updated or revised or a different version of this and maybe that'll make these more popular maybe not let me know what you think do you actually own one of these have you ever shot them? What do you think about them altogether? What do you think about the uh, overall story of what's happened to Hudson since they debuted the Hudson H9? From what I hear, they spent tens of millions of dollars and just it wound up not working out, even though I still believe they had a really cool story. All right, so there we go. That was this flashback. I think I'll do some more of these if you guys are interested. Thanks so much for joining us here. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, smash the thumbs ups, Support us on Patreon. I think that's getting more and more important as time goes on here. And lately it looks like we've gotten another round of super suppression from the YouTube algorithm, unfortunately. So we appreciate what you guys do for us. See you later. Peace. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.